Hi, my name is Jacques Tribuani from Using Community. This tutorial is an introduction to Surround in Using Hollyhock. Create an empty workspace. First, open the setup panel and check your sound card configuration. For a 8 output surround, I activate my 8 outputs. By default, using creates a stereo audio out for your new racks. This can be changed easily. Open the device panel. As you can see, the surround devices are ready but disabled. To activate it, click this button. Trash your rack stereo out and drop the surround 8. Double click the surround 8 device to edit. Using output 1 to 8 are connected to my 1 to 8 sound card output. If you need to design your own surround routing, click the out device. Add an audio out from this menu. Alt click the device to rename it. And double click to edit. Select output to delete holding shift key. Or drag a wire from output pins to add new ones. Let's fill our rack. Open the browser here. And under the Sounds tab, using Sounds, Various, Bottle, drag and drop the first sample to your rack, selecting Normal Sampler. Under Library tab, open Surround and drop Surround Pan Simple under your sample. Fold up the sampler that way and turn on Using Engine here. Here we go. Zoom your rack in using your mouse wheel. These two moving balls are my stereo samples. One is left and two is right. Behind are my eight speakers. They play the sound when overflown by the sample. You can check the sound output with these audiometers. Enter patch setup by clicking this button. Here, you can tweak the patch to fit your needs. Let's use only one input. Change the speed that way. The area fader tunes the fading time when a sound overflies. Max gain is reached when a sound comes to the center of the speaker. Here, you can change mode. In simple mode, you unlock your patch that way. Change speaker positions. Now lock the patch and move the ball with your mouse. Select random mode. Back to the browser. Under sounds, various, dancing body, drop the first sample to your workspace background. A new rack is created with the sampler. Fold it up and in the browser, under Library, Surround, drop pan trajectory above your sample. You finally trash the stereo out and replace it with the Surround 8 in the device panel. Let's add a reverb. In the browser, drop Surround Reverb 8 to your workspace background. Replace the out device. To add reverb to your samples, drop Rack 1 and 2 to your reverb rack input. You can build your own surround patch. Let's create one with delay and filter effects. Turn off using engine and trash racks 2 and 3. To create a new rack, use the Ctrl T shortcut. Replace the stereo output with the surround 8. And open the browser. Double click the default patch to edit. Browse modules. Audio. Filter. And drop filter simple to your patch. In this window, you can choose the number of channels. Using can manage up to 64 audio native channels but let's choose 8 to fit our configuration. Do the same 
with an audio delay by picking it in the delay folder. To create multiple wires at once, hold Ctrl and Shift. While holding, create audio inputs, wires between the modules, and audio output. Let's finally add two faders to control delay module. Drag a wire from delay time pin and choose fader. The same for feedback. Your patch is ready. Close the edit window. Drop rack 1 to your new rack input. Run using engine and enjoy your new toy. You can mute rack 1 device out to remove the dry sound. According to your sound system configuration, you could need a separate output for subwoofer management. This can be done directly inside your device. Open the device panel and double click Surround 8. Let's say we have 4 audio out and a sub plugged to audio out 5. Select using output 5 to 8 with holding your shift key and delete it. In the browser, under Modules, Audio, Mix, drag and drop volume mute module to your device patch. Choose Mono. Now, wire your 4 using audio out to the volume module. And the volume out to audio out 5. Drag a fader from the module gain. Expand your device. The fader is here and ready to manage your sub-volume. For an even better result, let's add filters to tune our system cutoff frequency. Back to the browser, under Audio, Filter, Drag and Drop, link with Riley filter over your first device wire handle. Select four channels. This is the High Pass filter. And click it to rename. Drag another one over the subwire handle and select Mono. Select Low Pass in the module settings and rename it. You finally drag a fader from a frequency pin and connect it to the second filter. You can now control the cutoff from the device panel.